but there's certain times when you have to write and certain um, uh, reasons to write it. And there are certain reasons not to write it. So now we're going to talk about the reasons you should write your memoir. So if any of this applies to your reasoning for writing your memoir, then you should definitely go ahead and do it. If you want to write a memoir because you want to help someone with your story, then you certainly should write your memoir. If you know that this is a story that so many people are dealing with, are trying to overcome, yes, write your memoir because you'll reach more people versus you, you know, talking to someone here, there, here, there. And writing your memoir will open up so many doors and so many opportunities for you to go and speak. You know, the churches and home, you know, different or group homes, different organizations, whatever it is that is, you know, that goes along with what you're talking about. Writing your memoir will allow you to reach so many more people. So if your goal is to help through your words, through your story, you should most definitely write your memoir. Or if it's simply to preserve your memories. I've had a client, I had a client who wrote her book and it was only for her family. It was only for her children. It was only for her, you know, her nieces, her nephews, people in her family about her grandparents and aunts and uncles. She just wanted to preserve some fun memories, some sad memories, even just the legacy that the people who gone before her left behind before she forget or pass away because it's going to happen to all of us. So her goal wasn't to write the memoir to sell. It was just to have a family mo memento to pass down. To improve your writing skills. You may decide, and let me tell you why people use memoirs to preserve their writing skills, I mean, to um, improve their writing skills. Because writing a memoir does not force you to have to think so hard versus writing a fiction novel. So you may want to write a fiction novel, but you may want to try your hand at memoir first because you don't have to think of the characters. You don't have to think of the plots. You don't have to think of the setting. You've already lived all of that. So writing your memoir will give you a chance to just write without having to create a whole new world. So if you want to improve your writing skills, try your hand at writing a memoir. Or to remind you what you've overcome. Sometimes we go through life and it's so easy to forget everything that we've gone through, everything that we've grown through. Some people want to write their memoirs simply to remind them that they are a conqueror, that they've overcome so much, and that they made it on to the other side. Okay, do you have any questions about reasons to write your memoir? Because I'm about to go into reasons not to write your memoir. Okay, the wrong reasons to write your memoir. To get revenge. You do not, and I do repeat, do not want to write a memoir to tell your side, to bash someone else, because that's going to open you up to a lawsuit. You cannot write about someone else in a negative way. You're really not supposed to write about anyone in a positive way unless you have their permission. And I'm pretty sure no one's going to give you permission to bash them. There are ways you can get around that, you know, like changing the names. That's, a, that's another reason I really like creative nonfiction because in creative nonfiction, in the beginning, before your story even starts, you let them know that some facts, some events are based on actual facts. Some may not be, but you know, in that way, you're able to um, you're able to protect yourself. You know, so and if you are unsure about it, I would definitely seek the advice, seek the counsel of a lawyer before you do, because like I said, you don't want to open yourself up to being sued. 
so others can hear your side of the story and that's basically goes back to what i said about getting re not really getting revenge but so others can hear your your account of what happened because you may not agree with what they've already heard about so you want to put it in a book so everybody can hear your side of the story that's that's the wrong reason to write a memoir as a form of therapy now i used to tell people use your words as a form of therapy and i still believe in that but i believe in that more so in journal writing now versus memoir and the reason is if you are writing about something that you have not completely healed from it's going to show in your writing you're going to write from a standpoint of hurt and what you want to write from is a standpoint of healed. You want to write the story that you've healed from, that you've grown from, that you've learned from, not the story that you are still in the middle of and still trying to figure out yourself how you're going to get through it. Now, does that mean that you shouldn't start? No, it does not. You can start, but you may not want to publish it until you've healed and you've grown and you've read through it again because at that point you're reading through it as a different person. So I do know um, someone sent me uh, their assignment and it was that they are, they hadn't totally healed all the way, but they've learned. So if you feel like you can write it from that standpoint, from what I've learned thus far, then yeah, sure, go for it. But make sure you are not writing from a point of hurt because hurt people don't want to necessarily read about hurt people because it's so negative. They want to read how you healed. They may read how you hurt in the beginning, but they want to read how you healed from the hurt. That is the purpose of a memoir, from that type of memoir anyway. Any questions about